Welcome to our channel. My name is Josh. Hi, uh, my name is Jet. And this is JJ, JJ Outdoors. Outdoors. Hey guys, welcome back to JJ Outdoors. So, in today's episode, we're going to be uh, reviewing some uh, Rapala fish scales. Uh, two different versions here. Honestly, about the same price. This is a 50 pound high contrast scale. And then this is the tournament touchscreen 15 pound scale. Um, obviously different uh, uses for each. Uh, biggest uh, difference is right off the bat. This one is not touchscreen. This one operate off buttons. This one here is touchscreen. Uh, 15 pound max. I imagine you'll probably be able to go over that. Uh, we'll check that out. And then this is 50 pound max. Uh, not sure if you can go over that. Maybe we'll lift jet with it. But um, probably if you're an adult, the coolest uh, feature on this, this one has a bottle opener. So if the thing breaks, you can still use it. Uh, this one does not have a bottle opener. But information. So we've had a, um, a situation with this one. I don't know if it's working right, not working right. But we fish in a Wednesday night league and I don't know if we didn't have it teared right the one night, but so far I have yet to actually weigh a fish on this and then it go to the scale and be roughly the same weight. Uh, we weighed one that was like a 1.60, 1, 1 came in and weighed like a 1.12, but I think that was my fault. I think I was weighing this in, but I don't see how this weighs a quarter of a pound in a sense. It don't make sense, but hey, who knows? So we're gonna do some testing today on this and see okay, how. Okay, so I am going to be opening the Rapala touchscreen scale with my pocket knife here. So with the. Uh, the touch screen, 15 pound tournament scale, you actually come with calling tags. All right, calling tags, if you're unaware, uh, there's eight of them here. Not many bass tournaments allow you to hold eight fish, but if it were to, most are five. Uh, regardless, you can actually weigh a fish, put that number in it, and actually save it to that number in the, in the scale here. And that way, if you weigh a new fish that comes in, and it weighs more, and you need to call out a fish, you let the smaller one go. Uh, that's what calling tags are for. I didn't even know it actually came with these, uh, so it's kind of cool. I already have a set of uh, calling tags. What I do like now, if you if you don't have a set, definitely get the ones that aren't puncturing. These just obviously sit inside the lip, pinches on there, and swims around. This will float at the top. Uh, harmless to the fish, you're not puncturing through their lip or anything, so it's not injuring them in any way. Uh, just show you. You just have a little bit of tension. But that's pretty cool, it comes with that. Also, comes with this alternate hook. Obviously, if you're weighing heavier fish and you wanna gill them, which I do not suggest in any way or form, but hey, you can do that. Uh, it does come with the, uh, the fish grip here, I like to call it, Rapala fish grip, and that works similar to the calling tag you put it on there pinch the on the lip weigh it release not injuring the fish uh, so we have that now the 50 pound one i believe comes with the same two options to it has that hook and this uh, it's been a while since i bought this one but uh it is water resistance and i have dropped this in the live well messing around you know it still works uh battery lasts a long time i would never even think i've even changed the batteries on it it's at three out of four bars but um uh, both will tell you the temperature outside how accurate it is i'm not sure because this is 89 degrees this is 87. that is 87 let's see what the good old iphone says Right now it says it's 80, so 
could be a, a factor of him being Wait, in. What's that one, sir? 89. This one, so this one's closer. Yeah, this one's a little closer. They're both reading hot, though, so that's where we're at on that. Also, well, I forgot to say, this actually, the um, touchscreen one actually came with this nice little handbag. And I like this Rapala. Good job. Actually comes with operating instructions on the inside here. Not sure how long those will last with stuff getting wet, but definitely a nice little add. Uh, so most people don't carry the instructions with them. But if you ever need them, Google's not too far away. So there's that. But what we're really here for is to, to, to test how close they are. So, so from Mrs. JJ Outdoors, we stole her food scale here. So we're gonna weigh some weights. Three got pounds. two three pounders here. Um, and then obviously those three pounders do not hook well. So we like, rigged up some 550 cord here, parachute cord. And we'll use that to be able to grip into that. We'll tear it out, but this is merely nothing to begin with. So we are going to be weighing the weights on the scale and see what the fish scale says. So we're going to put one down. Three, point one, three pounds, one ounce. Now let's see what this one says. That one's three pounds even. So three pounds even. We'll start off with that one. We'll start off with this guy. Okay, so we're starting off with this scale. We have to tear the weight for the weight holder. So we're gonna double click it. Yep. Okay. Show them that it's it's all teared out. Yep. Now we are going to lift the three pound exact weight. And you're gonna have to do it this way, buddy. Oh, I... I'm showing you because it's gonna flip out. Says it weighs three pounds four ounces. No, three point oh four pounds. Okay, so we got three point oh four pounds on that one. Three pounds point eight ounces. I start off with this one. And that comes out to three pound one ounce. So, extremely close there. I mean, that could just be the difference between those two scales, but three pounds one ounce, the scale there was reading 3.9. So, um, I kind of like this one more because it's a touch screen and it's more accurate than that one. And this one, I'm mad at it yet because it didn't get us anywhere in our fishing tournament. So this one's off the list. Um, you should never buy this one. Plus the back falls out when you don't want it to. So the real reason you came here, obviously, mm -hmm. which one do you buy? So. My experience with this one I thought was spot on. Uh, very well could be the, the scale that we go get our fish weighed at. Just weighs a little heavy, but we've been on both sides of it. I do think the side, the time that we had this underperform, where we thought we had a heavier fish than we did, was because we didn't have it teared. Um, and I think it was you know just the heat of the moment. We're trying to weigh fish, throw it around, and we didn't tear it, and it was adding that extra. Uh, this one here, extremely worth your money. Uh, I like it that it comes with call tags, especially if you're new to tournament fishing. This is an awesome setup for someone who's trying to get the best bang for their buck in a better way to put it. 
Um, price points, very similar. Um, if you're big into cat fishing or, or larger type fish, this one probably is a better option for you because this weighs out to 50 pounds, where this does not. This is, uh, this is set for 15 pounds. Now, I do believe they'll probably pick up some weight that's a little heavier than that, but uh, yeah, that, that's, that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, I'll throw some links in, in below here uh, where you can pick this up. But like I said, they're both very similar price points. I think I picked this one up off Amazon the other day for 53 bucks. These I believe I've seen at Cabela's and Bass Pro recently for 56. Uh, mainly because I don't think I paid near that much when I bought it, but uh, inflation's going crazy this last uh, year since COVID-19. Um, but I got this kid chasing me. But uh, I think, uh, but I really truly think that either one of them is a good product. Uh, I just think this works out a little better for bass fishing. I think it, it, it's easier to operate as far as what I know because going through here ain't bad. You, you weigh something, you hit the lock button, you hit enter. It works pretty good. Uh, battery life on this is excellent, I will say that. But uh, I do like the little storage bag that comes with this and getting your, uh, your call tags. So personally, being a bass fisherman, I'm going with the 15 pound one. Uh, not as big as it looks though, I will say that. In pictures, this looks huge and it's really not that big. This is probably the size of a, a small iPhone to give you comparison. So actually, yeah, here, I'll even put my iPhone up here just to give you an idea. That's my iPhone, so size comparison. Other than that, thanks for following along here. Hopefully this helps you out decide which one you'd rather go with uh but we'll, we'll definitely put it to the test this next time we go out in the river see which one i should say this is probably what i'm going with now to be honest with you this will be a backup so that's where we're at jet's down there probably he's ready to go bullfrog hunting that's that's what we're going to do next uh, but make sure if you're if you're checking this video out Hop over to our, our channel, check out some of the fishing derbies we get in on. Um, we have a good time, that's for sure. And click that subscribe button.